Hello YouTube, hello descendants. On today's patch notes, we, um, wait, what am I saying? Scrap that, keep that in actually. Um, okay, so the first descendant update 1.1.1.6. 1. 1. 1. Greetings, descendants. Here are the details on the first Descendant update of 1.1.6 on Wednesday, October 30th. I believe this patch note includes the reactor changes. Here we go. Reactor implant. Um, so now, reactor implant function is activated on the workbench after completing reactor implant, implant training. Subquest from the Descendant Instructor. Reactor implant training. Subquest is available after completing complete reactor enhancement training. Subquest. Ultimate tier reactor consumes other ultimate tier reactor and enables implant for optimization conditions. Reactor implant is available on the workbench. Ultimate tier reactor can have up to three different optimization conditions. Implanted optimization conditions can be changed throughout implants. However, if the reactor meets multiple optimization conditions, the skill power increase option can only be applied once. Albion Resource Defense Improvements. I don't know what this actually means, chat. Does this mean we will be able to um, do three mounts, three mounted weapons now on the reactor? Is this what it means? Um, I don't know. Somebody leave in the comments down below. But what I'm seeing here in the picture, it looks like we will be able to hold up to three mounted for one reactor mount three weapons yeah the final masterpiece alas a dagger and sovereigns whatever proof mounting uh which is not bad it's okay i still wish there was a way to re-roll substats that would be really great as well if we can re-roll substats um but you know what this this is also okay i'm okay with this any sort of improvements to the reactors i'm all game for um would be cool maybe too for further just an idea it would be nice if we uh if we can probably implement leveling up of our reactor you know, this gives us a, a nice little chase to the game as well. If we love our reactor, if the more we, we play the game with that reactor equipped it, we can further enhance our reactor. Like we, um, you know, the more we kill mobs, the more we grind, the more this reactor becomes stronger and we can um, enhance some of the stats that the reactor has. That would be, I don't know. Just throwing it out there, spitballing, just throwing ideas of what would increase the life of the game and in-game options for those of us who run out of things to do. Um, let's see. Albion Resource Defense Improvements. The location of the Special Operations Resor Resource Defense has been changed in Kingston, Echo Swamp, and Fortress Field. All waves have been shortened from 21 to 10. Okay significantly increase the number of common and commander monsters appearing great okay champion monsters now drop above items similar to special operations mind blockade the number of probability for interim review stage reward monster drop reward have been changed for albion resource defense interim review stage weapon proficiency exp reward has been added Ooh, okay that's pretty nice change uh, when equipping modules of the same type of slot, this is quality of life to the max. You see this, guys? So now you just drag what you want in the in this slot and it would automatically apply. So you don't have to hit Y or whatever the control button is to then change it and then save it and then do this and do that. You just drag and equip. That is such a quality of life. I welcome thee. Um, Descendants Daily Task Event. So there's a daily task event um, currently going on right now. If you complete these missions daily, um, you get receive some of these rewards. So 1 million gold. I would advise everybody to do these because you're going to need a lot of gold. If you're trying to do this, like, re-rolling of a module of weapons, socketed, um, 
mounted weapons. Um, gold seems to be something that you might need a bit of. Uh, this is pretty nice. This is okay. Uh, for somebody like me, it doesn't really do much, though. Um, again, I've already ran. I have so much gold. I have so much of these other things that it doesn't really do anything for me, but it, it helps a returning or new players. I'm all for it. Um, Twisted Workshop SE Body Skin has been added to the Twisted Workshop bundle components. I did talk about this briefly the last stream. They went ahead and chopped off the butt flaps that an outfit had. It had a skin that had some butt flaps that covered up the booty. When they listened to player feedback, like myself, because the moment that outfit released, I said, eh. And actually, I don't think I've ever bought that outfit because I didn't like that it had butt flaps. I didn't like the way it looked with the butt flaps. And I expressed how much I didn't like it. And, you know... I guess more people like me complained about it enough and they went ahead and chopped off the butt flap. So now it's just this one piece bathing suit stuff. Um, and um, yeah, now it's chopped off. But good news is that for descendants who previously purchased a Twisted Workshop, we will send the Twisted Workshop SE body skin by mail according to the following schedule. For the first Twisted Workshop purchasers before Wednesday, October 30th, scheduled to provide progressively after Wednesday. So people are getting, the people who purchased it in the past are getting us, am I understanding this correctly, Chad? Are getting it on the new one for free in the mail? So you guys get two? That's kind of nice. Talk about how good this is. This is very, very good. And um, for second, um, Twisted Persia um, Wednesday. It's providing pro uh, Thursday. Hello, hello, Ellie and chat. I really enjoyed the secret stream yesterday. Ellie, bear way. Yeah. The dev team, uh, director's comment, the dev team has listened to the community feedback on the Twisted Workshop skin and has updated its design. To accommodate descendants who prefer the original design, we decided to keep the existing twi Twisted Workshop skin unchanged. For those who own it and to provide the redesigned Twisted Workshop SE body skin as an additional option. If you already own the Twisted Workshop, you will receive the Twisted Workshop SE body skin for purchases made after the update. Both the original Twisted Workshop and the Twisted Workshop SE will be available. The dev team is committed to providing sat skins that satisfy you. The adjustments to Twisted Workshop reflect community feedback. However, there are many, uh, there may be practical limitations in addressing feedback for every skin. We will continue to do our best to release a wider variety of quality skins in the future. I think, personally, that a good way to combat this and to give people more options and a more freedom with customizations, because let's be honest, at this point in the First Descendant, a lot of its core elements is skins. You know, the customization, the skins. How about you give us other um, separate sections that can be removed in outfits? like uh, detaching the headpiece from the body piece, from the leg piece, from the shoe piece, and the glove piece. You know, I don't know how costly that is, how um, effective that would be for the development team, but if we can get separate toggles or separate pieces cut off for every outfit, that would be amazing. That way we can mix and match and really create some really nice designs in the future. Give us different boots, different legs, different um, torsos, different arms. Um, and that way we can combat, you know, the booty flaps that some people don't like in the future. You know, I, I think this is much better overall for the, for the length of the game. I think this can really juice up the, the customizations in the game. I don't know. Just a thought. If there's anybody listening to me and over at Magnum Studios and Exxon, I, that would be awesome. I think it would be nice. And you can even sell shoes separately, you know, some stilettos. Some Louis Vuitton, you know, you can sell some stilettos separately, some gloves separately. If it's about the money, you can do that. You can milk us. Um, 
PS5 Pro enhancements, um, you know, they improved the quality of the game. Ray tracing for PlayStation 5. Um, content improvements. They made UI. The UI has been modified to show count on the left emissions tracker. Only when Sharon neutralizes power units through infiltration. Uh, data collection missions. Um, okay, okay. Monsters. Common commander monsters have been completely reorganized. So they did a couple of monster adjustments, lowered their difficulties. They made normal um, it, normal content. They nerfed it a little bit. The level of a normal difficulty content has been lowered overall. Hey, I think this is great. I think this is great. Um, I don't think anybody should complain about this. The more people we get in the game that can get through some of the content, because I'm going to be honest, when I was first running that campaign, it could be a little tough, man. Even on normal. On normal, it could be a little bit tough running through the campaign. So, hey, I think the more people have an easier time getting to, to hard mode without struggling too much, I'm all for it. Yeah. Um, again, you're not doing normal anymore, so you shouldn't be complaining. If you're already doing hard mode stuff, quit your bitching. Let the people eat. Uh, main quest reward. Uh, rewards for already completed quests will not be given retroactively. Okay, okay. Weapons and modules. Um, oh, yeah, they, they balanced out the final masterpiece. They gave it, um, these are the buffs. If you guys want to pause it here, um, they will also be linked in the description below if you guys want to read these on your own. The final masterpiece has received buffs. Albion Calvary Gun has received buffs. Perforator has received a buff. Um, I was reading the perforator a little bit. When a critical hit occurs or a weak point is hit, an explosive scanner is created. Explosive scanner explodes when it touches terrain or enemies causing damage to enemies within the explosion range so it gives a little bit of an aoe um explosion if you hit somebody on the weak point or you know headshots basically that's pretty nice a little some something i still don't think many people are going to be using this to to um farm but eh, i'm okay seeing some adjustments I like the final masterpiece, though. Uh, I like the final masterpiece, to be honest. When, when shooting while the endless indulge effect is active, a puddle of indulgence is created to hit location with a certain probability, and poison is applied to a target that touches the puddle. Um, so they did some um, adjusting to the modules. Here you go, if you guys want to read that. And I think um, we're 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 coming to the end of uh, end of this. They have bug fixes, UI fixes. If there's something really important that you are excited about this that I skipped over, please don't forget to leave it in the comments down below. Uh, director's additional comment: Greetings, descendants. This is Min So Yu, director of Descendant. On the October 1st, we plan to share the development team's thoughts and direction regarding key suggestions raised by Descendants since Season 1 update. A dedicated community question Q&A will be posted covering topics such as combat, content, products, and customization to provide detailed responses. We ap apologize for not being able to fully engage with you as we focus on updates and hotfixes. Please look forward to the community Q&A October 31st for more information. Thank you for your interest and we'll always be listening to your feedback. Thank you. Um, just um, a feedback, a little suggestion to this. Um, I think a good weekly or bi-weekly uh, Q and A live Q and A on Twitch would be pretty nice. You know, a little sit uh, sit down, a little get together with maybe some community managers, some people, um, uh, maybe like a podcast esque situation where um, some development uh, developers g give um, feedback or answer questions. Would be nice with some maybe some exclusive drops as well for those days so people can tune in and get some drops and raise the community hype. I don't know, something to do with the community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
All right. So what did you guys think about the patch notes? Leave a comment, like a subscription. Go. Hey, I kind of need a little bit of help. How about you help me out? Hit that follow subscription button. Um, all the good stuff. Yeah. Comment and like, possibly, maybe. Please.